welcome to a tour of my sketchbook of what I've done so far. So let's jump into it. Here's my first page. It's all um, fantasy kind of work in here. This is a kind of scorpion uh, arachnid woman with a done in watercolours and pen with a metallic acrylic halo. On this page I've got a drawing of a castle, this is Kidwelly, it's my favourite castle in Wales. Um, this is a deer woman from Native American mythology and I was trying to draw uh, mushrooms in a bottle and this is just a weird mushroom pixie person I designed. Um, this is my next page, it's kind of medieval fair type thing. I would imagine I used a reference image for the clothes on this one and stuff. I'm trying to really fill up all the pages and give everything a border. This one is of an otter with shells and seaweed and riverside plants growing out of it. There you go. Oh, that in frame. Great. And I think this was a response to a poll I did on Facebook. I didn't want to stick to your kind of stereotypical otter drawing. I wanted to make it a bit more detailed and less like an otter, more a bit weird and stuff like that. This. Oh. He's a wood nymph style person. This is my Renaissance esque woman with some sort of chalice, chalice cup in her hand and some mushrooms and snails and a small owl. This page is inspired by. Wiccan and pagan practice and witchcraft and stuff like that. This is a medieval or Tudor looking woman playing with a poppet. And I did a kind of green man border around her leaves. So like some sort of spell charm bottle thing and wands and drumsticks and a little cauldron to fill up some space. Now, this one was a response to a Facebook poll. It's the Bananak from Irish folklore. I probably pronounced that wrong. It's a woman who's a ghost and haunts battlefields when people are going to die or that are already dead type thing. So there she is. And this is just a kind of Anglo-Saxon inspired page that's King Alfred and the reeds and rushes where he hide, where he hid and apparently burnt the cakes. But, and I kind of wanted to draw a kind of peasant looking woman, a circle and a, maybe a more well-to-do woman in, in her furs. And stuff. Ah, this one is kind of, I don't know when you say it was from, it's fantasy art to do with stone circles and kind of solstice or pagan celebrations and dancing. It was, I think it was inspired by the um, Stanton Drew stone circle legend of where they danced and then disappeared and turned into stones. So, yeah, that. And I think that's quite outlander -y. I think I was watching Outlander when I drew that, probably. Now, this page is one of my favourites because it's um, Robin of Sherwood, the 1980s, well, it wouldn't be the 19 anything else, the 1980s um, <coughs> TV show, which is great. And I drew her. Um, the hunter and you've got Michael Praed's silhouette with all the sky and the colours behind him and then Jason Connery. And that, yeah. This is all probably back to front as well. I've just realised this will be flipped. Sorry, that'll be irritating. Um 
Ah, this one's another Facebook poll I did. Now, I can't pronounce this one. I'm not going to even try. I'll put it on the screen. It's German folklore. Um, and it translates as the white woman or and is depicted as a kind of light elf type thing. So that's that. I drew a near a river but my water's not very good there. It doesn't really look like water but I kind of like her. I think I might do something digitally, di digitally and colour that or something later. Now this one is um, from Welsh folklore but you may recognise the face of the woman because I based it off of Mirigan Margulies and I was just trying to base it off of it but it turned out to look, I feel, quite a bit like her which I feel a bit bad about because I love her <laughs> and it's a bit offensive but it's a um, Guy Clion a Guy Clion? a Guy Clion, I'll put it down I'm a really rubbish Welsh person but <laughs> that wasn't how you pronounce it in the slightest basically a mountain spirit usually um, depicted as a kind of a hag or an old woman which I think is a bit mean to call an old woman a hag but there you are ah this one was um, um, drawings or some reimagination re reimaginings of wendigos you have that I was kind of working on different um, um, poses to draw stuff in, so you've got him. I've tried to do detailed line work, but it just looks a bit scratchy. And I'm on the page next door. I don't know if you can see that, I'm having to cover the nudity. Um, I did, um, I'm into pin-up drawings, I think they're kind of cool. And I wanted to draw a kind of succubus and that's her I'm a fan of her face but the rest of her's a bit so <laughs> ah this was a, another facebook poll greek i think i had it between two greek greek gods i can't remember it's hades or my imagining of hades i think this version that i did was highly based off of the disney film and that's why his head's on fire and I wanted to do the lines on the torso and on the things on the side to look very much like a statue and be based off of your kind of stereotypical Greek statues and on the next page we have some more monstery pinups I wanted to do something that's obviously very kind of supposed to be very pretty but do it with monsters because that makes it more interesting in my opinion I'm um, I think I like the Cyclops better than the Gorgon I like um, how freaky her eye looks yeah and then I tried drawing the eye and the mouth a bit bigger there not very good but ah more pinups um, now this is a I want to say some sort of harpy top of a harpy I think that no, didn't work as well because it doesn't look as monstery or, or weird enough for my liking it's a bit too mundane we have this one which I really don't like it's based off of World of Warcraft they um, are a Torin a Torin from World of Warcraft you know the cowish people so it's a bit like that I'm really not happy with him or her even I'm not happy with her and then this page is um, just some drawings I did I think it was an idea for a comic book or something or that type of thing it's very very heavily inspired by um, oh film Disney film what's it called Atlantis yeah Atlantis it's inspired by Atlantis, the kind of I wanted it to be some sort of detective team thing. But then my mum said this one looked a bit like me. So I might have to change the way she looks a bit because 
I, d I really don't want to be a detective <laughs> or look like a character. I think Mum said she looked like me because of what she's wearing. Because I would wear that. But yeah, that's not finished. I didn't colour that in or do line work on it. Ah! Here are some kind of Harlequins and Jesters type thing. Now, I didn't want it to look like Harlequin from the comic books, the ca comic book character, but I feel that it's ended up looking a bit like that. It's a bit inspired, probably slightly by that, and um, Soul Calibur, a video game. There's a character in that, I think it's called Tira or something, and she's a bit Harlequin-esque. That's just... I like the masked Venetian masks, that type of thing, or the longer one. On this side, this is one of my favourite um, pictures I've done in this book. It's the Morgan, or the Morrigan, or the crone of war, or the. I think she's a kind of omen of death. She's a bit like the. Uh, the. Bananak a bit, I think. Very similar, but better, but more well known. I, because she's Celtic. I wanted to make sure she had kind of Celtic face paint, which, as much as it's in black and white, I imagine the face paint to be in blue. But you you can't see that because it's in my head and not on the, not on the page. But there you are. Yes, yeah, that. Ah, I try to do. I try to step away from the kind of obvious fantasy art style that I have of drawing creatures and medieval things and I try to do a sci-fi woman. Her skin is terrible. <laughs> the colours on it are just ugh. But I kind of like the colours on the armour mixed with the hair and it was worth a go, worth a try. I don't really like sci-fi, drawing sci-fi things. Anyway, this one, it's an interesting one, I don't know what I think of it, I don't know what I think of the lines that I did drawing on the back, I think they're a bit rubbishy looking, but she is the, um, she's the black lady of Bradley Woods, and she's a woman from the time of the Wars of the Roses, hence why her dress is covered in roses and there's roses around the top. She basically lived in a hut in the forest, or well, this is the folklore, and with her husband and their child and then the husband had to go off to war. She was left looking after her child and um, um, men came along to her hut, took her child away from her, killed, killed the child assaulted her and then she's supposed to wander through the woods looking for her son and her husband who died in the War of the Roses so that's that. I thought that was kind of interesting and quite sad and I liked it. Ah last one. This. Well oh, I think there's another page after this but it's unfinished. This is my Last Kingdom drawing. I love the Last Kingdom, the TV show, and the books. The books are amazing. I'm um, halfway through the second one. They're great. Uh, and I drew this around the time where the current series came out. So I drew the characters from it. Well, the actors. And some scribbly drawings in the background. The sword and Bebenberg. Bebenberg. Not Bebenberg. Anyway, that's that. I think... That's an alright likeness. I'm not as convinced on that one. But it's okay. Ish. Now, ah, these, I've got two unfinished pages. Well, one unfinished page. This is finished. This is Hades and. Ooh, I can't remember. Um, uh, this is my second drawing of Hades. I wanted to make him look a bit younger and nicer and less fiery and deathy. <laughs> that's that. I kind of 
looked at some Greek statues in order to draw the face. I don't think it comes across, but that's what I did. I gave the woman a stronger face. I wanted to give him a more feminine, feminine face um, and her a more masculine face because I thought that would be interesting and less stereotypical. This is an unfinished page. I got angry at it. I did that bit and really, really hated it. But I kind of like this woman and her hair. Her hair's very bizarre. Then kind of flowy and wavy rather than like realistic. And I don't know what I drew on her head. It's a bit odd. And that's that. And that's my book so far. Thank you for watching. Sorry if it's a bit boring, I'm sorry if I went too fast, and I'm sorry if I mumbled over words, but I'm trying to get used to talking at no one. <laughs> but that's it. For, for most of the drawings in that I used uni pin pens, which are very nice fine liners from a size 0.8 to a size 0.05. And you'll see in there I also used some sepia pens occasionally. I think my Wendigo, the bottom one, had sepia pens on it. I like to do a mixture. I used watercolours and I can't remember the make on most of them. I tended to stick to the greys. So in some of the drawings I did more colours. But I like to keep it simple. I'll put the make of the watercolour palette I use the description if you're interested in that. I use a non photo blue pencil for most of the sketching as well before I pen it. I don't believe, I, I can't work out how a non photo blue pencil works though. I will say that I draw with it and then I photograph it and you can still see the blue very very clearly <laughs> but yeah that's it. I mean, I'm going to fill up the rest of the sketchbook at some point, hopefully. Um, this is going up today, so Sunday. But all the coming week, Monday all the way to Friday, not including the weekend, just the working week, I've got week two of my wildlife week with a drawing a day, quick drawing to quick time lapse. I think I've got a toad drawing coming up and maybe ooh, maybe a J and some other interesting things like insects and stuff so if you're interested in that, in that that's coming up but thanks for watching if you watch sorry for being boring or if I talk too fast thank you bye